everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're excited to be here i'm also happy to be here too because the last time i uploaded the video was in december all right and i hope it's not too late to say happy new year to you guys all i hope 2024 is this year that everything you actually plan for yourself will come to pass in jesus name all right for new timers here yeah, i am already a color only precious and here on my channel i give you the full juice about myself books christianity and you know lifestyle in general this video is actually titled 10 things i wish i knew before i ventured into youtube so you may be wondering uh, all right why are you starting this year with we like say regret it's not regret this is just me trying to educate my fellow content creators and youtubers on some things some vital things they need to know before they venture into youtube all right since i started my youtube channel last year february 2023 i've been receiving some questions like how did you start how did you do it how was the process and everything and in fact someone got my number from someone to ask me about all these things and you know sitting her down to start telling her everything i did will not be that easy so i decided to come up with this video and title the 10 things i wish i knew before i ventured into youtube all right as i said earlier i'm not yet to start regretting on some things i did i'm just here to give you guys some things you need to know before you decide to go into youtube or content creation fully if you notice like i said earlier i've been absent without leave since december and it's not like i don't have that time to sit down make a video edit and everything but there are some things i was supposed to put in place there are some things i was supposed to know before i just ventured into youtube like that in 2023 and that is what i'm here to share with you guys today so i want you to sit back relax and enjoy all right number one thing i wish i knew before i started youtube was that youtube monetization process is not as easy as a thing as we all think right before i started i actually knew that you could make money on youtube and that was after i posted my first video i did not start youtube to like start making money i just loved talking sharing my experiences with people and i said okay i saw that youtube was a platform to do that it was after i went through a course i knew that you can actually get money on youtube and that's after you have 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours yeah then the copyright to so youtube also has this copyright policy that you can't use any of music on your videos you can't take people's music you have to go to this a particular site where you can get copyright free music because if you make that mistake to make to use a music on your phone as the background uh, music on for your for your video youtube will not allow you to make more money on that video and everything you've done you just be a waste and also the algorithm on youtube is that i wish i knew this when you want to post your first video you have to make sure that your video not your first video any video you want to post you have to make sure that you have a lot of views when you post it instantly so youtube can recommend it to other users of youtube if not you just see that your video is not great and i think i tried it when i uploaded the video i make lessons from my 100 level days how talking to freshers mainly i posted it a lot of people watched it actually because it was some days to resumption so people watched it and i realized that within days within weeks it blew up and i think that's my highest video so far 200 and something plus so that's one thing to know about youtube all right guys another thing i wish i knew before starting youtube is that youtube is a nine to five job and this is real you can quote me anywhere to thrive on youtube to do very well on youtube to gain the number of subscribers you desire the numbers of watchers you desire and start making money as soon as possible you have to take youtube as a nine to five job like you wake up in the morning have your have a bath eat whatever you have to eat sit down start scripting make your video go back to your laptop or wherever you're editing start editing and upload as soon as you can and if you are very consistent on youtube you're going to blow up in no time and i did not know that as a student a number of female law students to be precise i don't have that luxury of time to sit down to start making videos to start thinking of videos to start doing all those things i never knew so you there you want to start creating content as a youtuber you have to make sure that you have that time as a student you have to know how to balance with your academics and your 
content creation journey together because I tell you for free, it is not as easy as you think it is. And this will lead me to the number three thing I knew I wish before starting YouTube. Editing. Before I started YouTube, I actually enjoyed editing. I can just pick up a video, do something short. But since I started this, my YouTube journey, it's, editing became something entirely new. I was like, really, is it? Are, you, are we still talking about editing or we are you talking about another thing? You have to see that you have to be very, very creative with your editing. And if time, if care is not taken, you will spend two, for me, I'll spend two or three days trying to come up with one beautiful video. The only time I knew I broke a record was when I posted that video, my advice for fresh ass in, my advice for fresh ass in the university. I made a video that day. I created a thumbnail that same day. And I also edited and uploaded the same day. I was like, okay. And that just made me to see that anything is possible if you just set your mind to do it. So you have to know that editing is a job. And to ease you yourself of that burden, you have to come up with short videos. When you start having videos that's um, 15, 20, 30 minutes long, it's going to be very, very difficult to edit. And this leads us to number four problem, which is creating thumbnails. This is actually similar to editing, but it says that you have to think and think to come up with one thumbnail that attracts people. My thumbnail is also five. If you ask me to rate them, I'll give them five over ten. It's, they are not that bad, but they are not that kind of thumbnail that I should be using if I really want to get my numbers of subscribers fast and to get people watch my video they have to be attractive they have to tell everything about what your video is about and they have to make they have to be compelling that's just it make compelling thumbnails and in no time you get that wish I knew this before I started making video now number five as a youtuber if you're a newbie youtuber nobody is interested in your content creation even your friends maybe just very few of them Will be very interested in you they want to watch your videos they want to see what you are doing so don't be discouraged when you post a video and you start saying three views no comments ten views one comment it might actually want to weigh you that it did for me because i was like what's the point after staying here making videos doing this doing that and at the end of the day i'm just having one two three views with no comment and my so-called friends are not even supporting me don't be annoyed it's just normal not everyone will be interested in your video and it is even when you start creating these videos you will know how supportive your friends are i may not we may not even judge them through that because some people may not just have that time to be some people are not social people so to come out there to post your videos to watch to comment will really take a long time number six now i wish i knew that i had to have a content bank because when you post today you don't have anything to post and before you start thinking of what to post how effective it would be asking around time would have gone and that's why i see some um in february i was online and before you knew it i was very consistent in february when i started last year and for eight months straight i went off and you know people were like ah. Is this girl whining us? Are you or are you guys are you still on? Are you still running your YouTube channel and so on and so forth? In fact, a week ago, one of my friends on campus, no, we like calling my friends, actually a cosmic. We're in the same faculty and he got to know me through one of my videos. He commented and he told me how he loved them. Shout out to you. I love you. And he came to meet me that alright, I've been going to your YouTube channel, I've not been seeing anything. What was the problem? And I was ashamed of myself. And why did that happen? I don't have a content bag. I just post on impulse. And this is not going to be so this year. I'm going to make sure that I have a list of everything I want to post. At least for 10 videos. You can come up with ideas for 10 videos. And before you know, you see that creating content will be as easy as you can. Scripting and everything. Just make sure you do something like that. Alright. Number 7 problem. I wish I knew that. Getting subscribers will not be as easy as I thought. When you first open your YouTube channel, your first video will have a lot of views. I think my first video had 180 something views, and I'm actually content. I was contented with it. As per se, I was just starting, and people already engaged. People already love what I was doing. I have 180 plus views, not knowing that that is how YouTube is. Your first video will get a lot of views, a lot of comments. You know, people. And the thing is that people want to see what you are doing. They'll be like, let's go and see what this girl is doing. She has opened a YouTube channel. Let's just go and see. So when they say at first, I'm like, okay. So people will stay. And some people will like say out of jealousy. I don't know. I don't know. I can't really say category. But they will just stop. They will just stop having interest in your videos. And that is. Now, in case you don't know, know now that as a YouTuber, 
as a content creator, you'll be talking to yourself. If I knew this, I actually maybe don't have a roommate or try to find a way of staying alone. Because sometimes when I am talking, my roommate will be like, or people around me will be like, what was happening? They don't know I'm trying to rehearse for a content and as a content creator or a YouTuber, you just want to be posting videos of yourself online. I want you to develop that habit of talking to yourself and just look at it like you are talking to real people. Like now, I know I'm talking to people. Hello, good morning, I'm the itty. I hope today goes well for you. See, I just talked to you and I know that I'm talking to real people. So I'm not always bothered when I'm alone talking. Now there's nobody in the room. I'm only alone by myself, but I'm still talking to some set of people. So that's how it is. Know that you'll be talking to yourself. Now, another thing I wished I knew before venturing into YouTube was that I will have to be able to stick to a niche. Sincerely, that has been very difficult for me as a person. I know some of my, a friend of mine that has a YouTube channel now and she has a niche already. But for me, sticking to a niche is actually a problem. To me, if I knew this earlier, I would have taken my time to think of what I want to do, to think of the niche I'll be venturing into before I started my YouTube channel. But now that I'm here, I hope that as time goes on, I'm able to stick to a particular niche. And lastly, now, as a content creator, as a YouTuber, you will spend a lot of data. Like, just know that if you don't know anything, if you don't know anything, just know you spend a lot of data. If I knew then, maybe I'll just go and look for a data company to be working in because to upload your videos, especially if they are long, it takes a lot of data to, you know, engage, to reply, comment, and all. It's actually a lot. So I think I'll be stopping here in order not to make my video too long so as to be able to edit it very well. I hope you're able to gain something from this video. And I hope to see you in my next video. Till then, bye!